Hi, I'm Game Design Ed, and this is a game I made for the holiday card Game Jam. The game is called Wild Rummy. It's a variation of Rummy. It didn't actually start out that way, but through the iterative process, it eventually turned into um, a variation of Rummy, and I think it's for the better. So what I, what I do is I use a 52-card deck plus two jokers as wild cards um, that I shuffle in, and let's... Um, actually get this shuffled up and so we start out by dealing out um, 10 cards standard rummy deal um, 10 cards for two players which I'll be showing you today and then um, seven cards for three to four players six cards for five to six players um, it's all to get um, a good size stock but then also the right number of cards in your hand to be able to do something with them so um, as you're making your game you'll find out that um, you'll, you'll have to test out different um, numbers of cards to deal out to get um, and, and iterate on it play test figure out which works best for your game um, and I found eventually that dealing 10 cards for two players turned out to be the best um, for this game wild rummy so we'll deal out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have here we have the stock we have our cards dealt out and then we flip one over for the discard pile in wild rummy you at the beginning of each turn you draw a card and at the end of each turn you discard onto the discard pile. Interesting thing about the discard pile, if I wanted to draw off of the discard pile, I can draw this card, but I'd have to play it on that turn, on the turn that I drew it. Additionally, in Wild Rummy, the top card on the discard pile serves to, um, uh, de determines what is a wild card in this game. So, sixes, with this on top, a six is a wild card. That means I could use a six if I had one in my hand. Let's look. I do have a six in my hand. That means this card can be used for any card, stand in for any card. It's a wild card. Um, so, for example, I have queen and king of hearts. I could say that this card, this six, because six is wild, this is a jack of hearts, and then I could play my meld. Um, if I picked up this card, it would no longer be wild because it is no longer on top of the discard pile. So it's whatever card is on top of the discard pile, that is a wild card. All other cards like that, all sixes in this case, are wild. So let's play a hand. So like, like Rummy, you're, we're trying to make melds. That is three consecutive cards, queen, king, ace, two, three, four, um, others like that all of the same suit or three of a kind 10 10 10 um, I actually don't have any 8 8 and if I had another 8 I would have three of a kind right so they can be different suits just three of a kind so we're trying to make melds and we lay these out in front of us these add up to points that will then determine who wins um, the hand and we'll get to that in a minute so to start sixes are wild I have that six in my hand, and I could play jack, queen, king. So there's one melt, sixes are wild. Um, I also have a joker, which is always a wild card, so that's a good one to have. And I could do eight, eight, eight. And then at the end of my turn, I discard. Now interestingly, another thing in wild rummy is when I discard, I could discard a four, let's say, and then my turn would be done. But if I have the next consecutive card, so six, and in this case, seven, that means I get to play again. I get one more turn, so I draw. I have a nine. Nothing else I can do, so I discard. I have two melds in front of me. I discarded, my turn is done. It goes to the other player. We then look at this player's hand. He has a joker as well. Apparently I didn't shuffle very well. Fours are wild. He has no fours. 
but he could use that four right here. So he picks up that card. Four is no longer wild. Seven is now wild. He has no sevens either, so he's done. Um, he has to play that four that he picked up on this turn, so he plays that meld out, four, five, six of spades. Um, he has that joker. He has 10, 10 joker, so that doesn't count as in, at any points at the end. These tens do. Um, so it's sort of a strategy you have to have. Do I want to wait for that 10 or play that joker that's worth zero points? I'd rather get 20 points out there than 30 points. Wait for the possibility of 30 points. Um, so end of the turn, he discards that five. Turn is done. So now five is wild. No fives. Draws has a nine. Um, can he play? So, now he has a 10, and over on this side, um, as you remember, this player laid out two 10s and a joker for um, to count as a um, meld. So, since he has this 10, he can now swap out this joker over here, and now he has a joker in his hand, giving this player over here 10 points, but has a joker now and can play his cards. 10 points have been made up right there. And discards, the turn is done. This player over here draws. Sorry. Um, cannot play, but can swap out that this joker here. And so he gives him five points, but makes in return. So it's a little bit of strategy. Do I want to give this person the points over here or by and, and get their joker or not give them any points and um, hang on to these cards in my hand. So that is the end of that turn. Discards. Turn is up. This player draws. Cannot play. Discards. Now we're both down to one card. This player draws, has a 10, can add it there, and can also add this ace here to the other player's meld, but that would give this player one point in this case, however many points. So if you play, you play on someone else's meld, you're trying to get rid of your cards to go out or whatever, but you could be giving them points. So it's another strategy that you have to decide whether or not I would like to give this player points this player decides not to, rather decides to go out. So go out, game over, or hand is over, you add up the points, number cards are five, face cards are 10, jokers are zero, tens are worth 10, aces are worth one, which there weren't any, you add up the cards, minus the cards that are left in your hand, so this would be minus one, whoever has the highest score, gets one point. First person to five points in the metagame wins the game. So that is Wild Rummy. Um, if you have any questions, please um, ask them. Um, and I will, as I'm sure I left a few things out that need to be clarified, a few edge cases that um, would need to be clarified that didn't show up in this game. Um, so that was Wild Rummy, and that was for the Holiday Card Game Jam. I look forward to your submissions. This is Game Design Ed. Thank you for watching.